my top five office perfumes for men. First, or fifth, Prada Lom. Luxury soap, fragrance, real nice, real everywhere, every time, anywhere, any place, any whatever. Real nice. If you don't know it yet, try it. Of course, the, probably the one of the most popular of his fragrances besides Your Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel, and I would take the Eau de Parfum. I think the Eau de Parfum is the most interesting, nice fragrance out of the Bleu de Chanel line. And real sophisticated, real nice, real manager kind of smell. Really try it. Third one will be Givenchy. Gentleman Intense. Real nice iris. It's also a bit makeup y, but it's a real nice sweet iris. Um, real nice, real office y fragrance. Before I go on to the top two, I will show some honorable mentions, mentions for special occasions. Starting off for winter. Honorable mention Zara Rich Warm Addictive. Real nice scent. Tom Ford Block Black Block Black Orchid. And of course. Bentley for men or Bentley for men intense. These one all were also, you know, are good for autumn, I guess. And for summer, I would go with uh, something like Lolita Lempica Lolita Home. You know, beginning of summer, it's still a bit cold. Or of course with Crete Aventus, or this one will be Crete Aventus oil. And you could also go of course with uh, Aqua di Gio or Zara Lishboa, which is, as a matter of fact, almost the same. And now the top two of my most favorite office fragrances from, some for, from someone who works in healthcare and does not work at an office. Number two, Beau de Jour. Real nice old school fragrance, real rosy, real old school masculine kind of fragrance. Being at Tom Ford, of course, it's pretty expensive. So if you want something alike, they don't want to pay all that for it. You could try to find some David of Zeno. I would say 90% the same. I of course made a video about these two, the similarities. Um, bit hard to find right now uh, because it probably is discontinued, but it's not that sure about it. So try it out. Before we go on to the number one, the best of his fragrance. I have an honorable mention again for summer. It's also in the Givenchy Gentleman line, and this is Givenchy Gentleman only. It's one of my most complimented fragrances. It's real nice, real fresh. Real gentlemanly, as the name suggests, of course. 
definitely try it if you come across it. And then we arrive at the number one office fragrance that I have. And that will be my ruins bottle of Bois de Portugal. I have, of course, a video about it, how I ruined the black on this bottle. Real nice. Bois de Portugal, of course, means uh, forests of Portugal. So it's a real green, nice, sophisticated fragrance. Mm. I actually don't know much of a substitute for this one. So being a Crete, it's of course pretty expensive. Well over 100 euros. Um, so if you want something a little bit similar, foresty likewise, uh, you can go with Green Irish Mousse. Not the same of course, but it's green. Real nice. Or something like Curum by I actually don't remember what the brand's called Antonio Pui mm. but it's of course much less sophisticated than the one and the only Crete by the Portugal so this will be my top five ish fragrances for the office i hope you enjoyed this video and as one bonus fragrance before i leave you i have to mention of course one fragrance that's called office And that's from Fragrance One, of course, Jeremy Fragrance's brand. Office for Men. Nice office fragrance. I think it's really similar to the probably the most famous office fragrance. But that will be my honorable mention. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope I see you all another time, another video, another place, and hopefully in much warmer weather. Ciao.